Hello Windows Universe, in this video we will look at some fixes you can do if you receive an error that the test tone failed to play. For those of you that want a more in-depth look at the issue, visit the article linked down below. Start by running the audio troubleshooters. Type troubleshooter. Go to additional troubleshooters. Look for playing the audio troubleshooter and click on run. Follow any on-screen prompts. If the troubleshooter can identify and fix the problem, it will. Restart the computer when it's done to let any changes take effect. We can also change the default test tone rate and bit depth. Windows chooses a default test tone based on the speaker or the headphone, so we might need to change that setting. Open Settings, and go to System and Sound. Look at the right side and find Device Properties. Then click on Additional Device Properties. Go to Advanced and look for the default format and see if you can adjust the bit and the rate depth. Audio enhancements may affect the tone, so disabling them might help. Open Sound Properties. Click on Sounds. Go to Playback. Then click on Properties. Go to Enhancements and click on Disable All Enhancements. Click on Apply, click OK, check and see if it works now. Let's look at restarting the Windy Windows Audio Related Services. Open the Services Manager. We are looking for Windows Audio, Windows Audio and Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. Right click on each one of them. Make sure that it is running. Make sure it is set to automatic. If not, change it to automatic and press start. If it is running, then you can shut it off, then restart it. After that, click apply, click OK. Restart your system and see if it works now. For more helpful tips to maximize your window experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.